we, uh, we have a little special upgrade to do today. Um, if you recall, we put some uh, lower speed fans in this server uh, a few weeks ago. And I've been monitoring the temperatures of the case ever since then. And it turns out these uh, slower rotations in the fans that um, create less noise but also move less air have caused my processors to um, approach overheating a couple times. So uh, I bought these heat sinks with active fans dedicated to them, and I bought some new uh, Noctua fans to attach to the heat sinks. Um, and those are gonna provide nice quiet airflow uh, with active uh, cooling for the, the CPUs, which should drop the, um, the core temperatures for them and keep things nice and safe. So first thing we gotta do is replace the fan. I've already got this one ready. Um, but uh, we gotta update this one here with the new Noctua fan, and then we're gonna get right into installing it. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is put this bracket on. The thing is, yes, yeah. I'm gonna put the bracket on, I'm gonna test fit the fan, and then I'm gonna take the bracket for the fan back off because it needs to be off for me to in install the, the screws. good. I didn't realize about these fans when I bought them is that they come with uh, all these extra cables and there's some extensions <clears throat> and a splitter so you can hook up two fans to one port which might come in handy for me later on so we did it like that I think we'll do this just the same these Noctuas, I've never used these before, they come with these little rubber mounts and they're flexible and I, from what I can tell on the directions, you just kind of pull them through and they look like they're going to tear and that's what you actually mount the fan to and that kind of keeps the vibrations from making noise or shaking any parts. First one I put together, I was terrified I was going to rip one of these in half. Line it up with the fan here. pull on them again and snap them down into place. This is actually my first time ever working with uh, these Noctua fans. I've heard about them for years and I can say for sure that um, the quality of them does not appear to disappoint at this stage. I haven't actually powered it on yet so I don't know exactly how quiet it's going to be. Um, but the build quality and the quality of these parts um, and the clarity of the instructions Really solid, really solid right now. I'm, I'm quite satisfied with my purchase at this stage. So, um, let's make sure it fits. Kind of snaps on here. You see on the bottom we have these clips that snap into the fan, and um, they just they just barely fit. Uh, you gotta kind of squeeze them on there a little bit. They're a little bit more snug than um, the old fan, but. They do hold. All we have to do is put this screw in the top to make sure that it stays in place. And we're good. Um, now that this has the right bracket on it, I'm gonna take this, this fan and the chassis for the fan back off, and we're gonna actually get these bad boys installed. So we've got uh, these passive heat sinks in here that are getting replaced with the active ones. 
We have this fan baffle that's gonna go away because the, um, the whole point of the fan baffle is to direct air from these fans, particularly these two, over these heat sinks and then draw it out this way. So these are still gonna provide airflow that cools the drives and moves air in here. But with these having active heat sinks on them now, those fans will keep the CPUs cool and then these are just gonna exhaust. So what I've been thinking about doing is adding another fan right here, um, maybe on the outside or on the inside to help keep this rail card cool, but also uh, give a little bit more airflow out the back to provide some, some suction. Um, so we'll see how this goes, but first I need to get these cables out of the way and get the baffle off so that I can uh, get to where the heat sinks are actually mounted. And the baffle will lift. Pull it right out. Uh, let's start with this one here. Let's take a look at this and boom. Oh, oh my goodness, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be just gorgeous. Yep. yep. All right, great. Clean slate. These already came with thermal paste on them, and I've managed to keep from messing it up too much, although I guess I put my thumb right on that. Yet. Okay, you can see our fans. Where is fan B? See fan A and fan B, and I think that they are supposed to be one for each um, processor. I don't see the other header for it. Oh, it's down there. Okay, okay. This is fan B. I am thinking about rigging this fan. Is the fact that it's, it's not, uh, not standard. Now that we've rigged this fan to the back of the chassis, we've added a little bit of airflow by creating some suction on the back of the case. That should help keep that RAID controller cooler and overall temperatures down. These two active heat sinks have reduced the temperatures of my CPUs from maxing out at about 70 degrees Celsius to about 60 degrees Celsius. So we're staying a lot cooler. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.